Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. So excited to be back again and talk to you about how to measure a magnetic field with a test charge. Now if we have a particular space field with a magnetic field like putting two magnets in there where you're seeing an interesting magnetic flux flowing in there and then you put in a test charge which is probably a positive or a negative charge we can actually measure the magnetic field in that particular region with the help of the force now if we look at this particular formula which we've actually dove into in our previous video we realize that the force is determined by the product of the quantity of our charged particle multiplied by the cross product of our velocity of that moving charged particle in a specific magnetic field and this is actually determined in order for we to be able to know the magnetic force on a moving charged particle and take note that the velocity of that particle of this particle in here is actually directly proportional to that of its voltage so if you're going ahead with this calculation we do know that the cross product of these two quantities is equal to the product of the two quantities multiplied by the sine theta between these two quantities which are actually spanning a particular plane and by our right hand rule we can determine the direction of our force where on one side we have this pointing up which is our positive charge while negative charge is the reverse case for our force generated. Now let's look at a specific case scenario where we actually apply this interesting properties in terms of showing the direction of our force with respect to our test charge in here. Now this case comes from a particular electron beam that is generated in a cathode ray tube. Now this cathode ray tube is actually noticed in majority of older TV or televisions. Now all these television sets they do have this specific cathode ray tubes that actually shoots beams of electrons and one thing we need to note is that this particular shooting of beams of electrons with the help of an electron gun actually shoots beam of electrons that are actually of known velocities and these known velocities of our electrons will enable us to determine that hey actually if there is no magnetic field in there then we can actually notice that there is no force to deflect the beam so in that particular case we'll have this particular electron striking the screen of our TV in this particular case now let's look at one case scenario now one case scenario is when we have our magnetic field present in here and we have our electron beam shot out of our electron gun. Now what's going to happen? Will the beam deflect or will it not deflect? Now this actually comes into play when the beam is actually parallel or anti-parallel to the field like this specific case here. So in this particular case here, we do have our beam actually being shot in a parallel direction to that of our magnetic field. So this is a velocity parallel to the magnetic field or if we flip this upside down, we have that being anti-parallel. So what is happening in here? If you look at the y-coordinates, we have two vectors that are parallel in that particular y coordinates and if we perform this particular function we realize that our sign equals zero reveals that we have a force in here so we have a zero force in this particular case here when our electron beam is moving in the same direction as our magnetic field in here so in that particular case what we realize is that 
in this one here at angle equals zero or we have angle to be equal to pi we do have zero force and therefore this makes us know that there is no force and hence there is no deflection on our electron beam in here now what happens next is when I turn my tube in here 90 degrees what I get is a different case scenario which is what we have over here now what we have in here is once I turn it 90 degrees in here to that of the magnetic field which is pointing upwards then what we realize is that when our angle here equals to pi over 2 which is 90 degrees in this case then we have our magnetic force to be at maximum and the beam actually deflects as you see in here so as this shoots electron beams you see there's a slight deflection because we have our velocity being perpendicular to that of the magnetic field and what happens then is that we generate a force that is perpendicular to that of both the velocity and that of the magnetic field and that is how we actually realize that hey there is a beam deflection in the direction that is perpendicular to the magnetic field and that of the velocity of our moving beam electrons so in general what do you need to notice in here all we need to notice in here is that hey to measure a magnetic field with a test charge we can just put that test charge in here and by using this formula we can determine not only the magnitude but also the direction of our force and also determining the magnetic field strength with respect to that particular force that we have actually accomplished and an example of this is by using a TV screen which actually shoots electron beam uh, through a particular cathode ray tube and then we can determine what happens when we subject that particular environment to a magnetic field and by then we can able to actually detect how an electron actually deflects or deflects in with respect to that particular electric field or and magnetic field in here so thanks for watching please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts hit the like share and subscribe and be smart bye